So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Xenia, an Xbox 360 emulator, and I'm also going to be talking about the Xbox emulation scene as a whole, or lack thereof. Now, as for Xenia itself, it actually has a very interesting story. This all got started in 2011, when a developer named Ben Vanek wanted to play some region-locked games on his North American Xbox 360. He wondered if 360 emulation was viable, and after realizing it was, he soon began work on an emulator. Now for a few years, progress was slow, but eventually more and more games became in-game and then eventually fully playable, and by 2018, some major AAA games were actually starting to run in Xenia. In more recent years, Xenia has been split into two branches and progress seems to be going at a pretty impressive pace as more and more games are able to run on Xenia. In fact, the development of Xenia, in my opinion, is starting to look kind of like the development of RPCS3 in some ways. Now granted, there is still a long way to go for Xenia, as there are many games that are still only partially playable or have major bugs, but I am happy to see that this emulator is alive and well, and doing very, very well. The community around it is certainly perhaps not quite as large as it is for other emulators, but I am surprised at how well things are progressing and how well this emulator works when you consider that Xbox 360 emulation is not quite as popular when you compare it to other major consoles like the Switch or the PS3. And that brings me to my second topic for this video, the emulation of Microsoft consoles or lack thereof. If you're into video game emulation, you probably know there's a lot of popular, very well-developed emulators out there for, I mean, literally every Nintendo console ever made, and also popular emulators for Sony's PlayStation line of consoles, and even other things like Sega consoles, uh, arcade games, stuff like that. And in fact, many of these consoles even have multiple different emulators in use and development, and there are several of them that run very, very well. But the thing is, if, if you look at Microsoft's consoles, you'll notice that there just are not very many emulators out there, and the ones that do exist are not quite as advanced as their Sony or Nintendo counterparts. Now yes, right now Xenia is doing very well, but it took years and years and years for it to get to this point, and it's really the only one like it. A few years ago, there was literally nothing for the 360, you know? I mean, a few years ago, there was, there was nothing going on at all. I mean, PS3 at least had some development, but, like, if you looked at Microsoft's consoles, there was nothing. At least now there is something, but still, there's there's a long way to go. I'm glad we have Xenia, but there's there's a long way to go still. So, why is this? Why is it that Microsoft's consoles seem to be lagging or not as popular when it comes to emulation? Well, I think the answer is actually pretty simple. Ask yourself, what is the main goal of emulation? It's to preserve games that you can't find on other platforms, or perhaps whose best form is on a specific platform. The PlayStation 2 and Nintendo's consoles are good examples of this, where you have a lot of games that are exclusive to this one console, or the best version of this game is on this console. There's a lot of wonderful games on the PS2 that never made it to any other platform, and you can only really play them on a PS2, either real or emulated. Now, on the other hand, what games are completely exclusive to Xbox consoles? Halo? Not anymore. Gears of War? Not anymore. Red Dead? I mean, kind of, but it's it's on PlayStation 2. Now listen, I have no hate for Microsoft's consoles. I at one point had a 360 and I loved it, and I, I think these consoles are great. Nothing wrong with it at all. I also don't think there's anything wrong with Xenia. I think it's awesome. I'm glad there's progress being made on 360 emulation. But the thing is, there's really not a lot of games that are solely exclusive to the 360. 
not nearly as many as either Sony or especially Nintendo has. And because of this, I think that emulating the Xbox consoles is just not quite as popular because it doesn't really have as much to offer when it comes to exclusive games. Of course, I'm still really happy that Xenia is making good progress. I think there's a lot of great uses for it, and I'm happy for it. But I just think that there's not a lot of people interested in emulating the 360, as there are, say, emulating the PS3, because there's just not as much of a reason to emulate this console. It's just not quite the same. But it just doesn't have nearly the same appeal as Sony or Nintendo's consoles. Still, Xenia is slowly but surely making progress, and I'm sure someday it's going to be very highly polished like many other great emulators out there. In fact, I don't think it's going to be too much longer until it gets to that point, as progress has been picking up. That's going to do it for me today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.